Boise State in the home white. John Higgins about to throw the ball up. A very veteran officiating crew with us tonight. We're playing Mountain West hoops. And, that, and, 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 and to be honest with you, some of it has to do with just their lack of size that they get out-rebounded. Keaton Van Solen finds Walker, and A.J. Walker's they want the ball in his hand to practice last year, so they're not newcomers this year. And serious talent, Acott. On the outside, Keaton Van Solen, a guy Air Force would like to get going. The silver front was a little sloppy early. And they get the ball right back. Here's Acott, Ray J, and one. Ray J. Dennis gets to the line. And this is what win shares than anybody on Boise State right now. And long in man defense. There's the takeaway in there. Acott making it happen with the flush. And this is what we talk about when we talk about taking care of the ball the best teams in the conference and capitalizing on those turnovers and getting out in transition. The answer for A.J. Walker. Finish that. Guy that big, that strong, can't miss this away. Oh, and a sweet entry pass there. This time it's A.J. finding Chris Joyce. Of delivering that pass on the back door. Now the perimeter for the Broncos. Key jab knocks it down. <laughs> Leaving the University of Arizona. They... Superb points right now, 56 per game. Max Rice, big three. Don't shoot him for money. <laughs> He's really doing a great job giving them something off the bench. And, you know, every game I've watched them this year, he comes in, he does something immediately. And then you talk about Shaver's instant offense. There's three, and now it's 11 straight from score from anywhere. Key jab inside, outside. Here's key jab now. Taking it to the rack. 13 straight. Shaver, here's Dutree. Dutree yet to take a shot. Here's the attack, and look at that. A little off balance, makes that go. And that is what he's known for. That's, that's, that's what he did back at Arizona. He's like, you really need a bucket here. Joyce in the paint, turns, connects. Shooting a traditional back at five. And I think tonight we'll see a lot of experimenting with small lineups. In his high school career in Anchorage at West Anchorage High School. And he ended up finishing up in uh, Los Angeles. Practice and Joe Scott said he's playing like a senior now. He's earning minutes. And another three for the Broncos. Marcus Shaver. <laughs> Had nine rebounds in the game that Air Force won at the Academy. Walker. Gonna get his own rebound back up. It's the little things. <laughs> Uh, 27 points in the win against Nevada, 19 against against Utah State uh, last Saturday. He's one of the few. End of the line, all of his points at the free throw line so far. Country, and he's on the list again. Probably did the great job defensively on Richard Washington of San Jose State at the end of that game last week where San Jose State almost pulled the upset. Turnover, Walker, off the glass. Oh, and tipped out, that'll count. <laughs> he's reached by key jab. It, it's, it's not going to happen overnight. No. It's not going to happen in this game. It, it's it's going to take some time. Oh, and a big shot. Mature. So if you can get that extra year, that's definitely an advantage. Well, oh, key jab strong. Right at Oregon. 35 games. Played on. Second free throw. There's Chris Joyce in deep. Got to get the shot off, though. Shot. Oh. And he does. Boy, Joyce keeps... Uh, that is something that the professional league will want to see out of Alston. Yeah, his versatility and his length uh, to be able to get... Alston spent a lot of time in the perimeter tonight. There's Max for another three. Here we go. It's two straight. The second game of the Aggie Lobo series. Friday night right here on FS1. There's the big man getting inside, Armush. Sure, defensively, forcing the turnover. That's her air force, and at the other end, just like that, Ray J puts it down, four quick points. And that's exactly what Leon Rice wanted to see. Nice floater, A.J. Walker. So the Broncos won that game in Provo. And that's what gave Coach, Coach Rice the idea that he could go small and still. A.J. Walker. Significant now, at least for comparison purposes. You heard our studio guys before us talking. That, that BYU game is gigantic for the Broncos right now. Is anybody else going to go? And I think people presume San Diego State. 
But you look what Utah State did last year, winning the tournament. And you look at this Boise State team. I mean, there's three legitimate. It'll be interesting to see. Broncos against Aggies. Aggies against Aztecs. Mike Burns, his assistant coach, the scheduler, who had to keep rescheduling game. Boise State had a... <laughs> They were able to find a game against Houston, their first game of the season against Houston. And that was important because every chance I get. Austin in transition, all the way to the rack. Big time finish. Long and strong. Yeah, and those are the type of plays that you see him make. And you can see him at the next level. When you see him make plays like that, the fact that he can really shoot the ball, uh, you know, you, you just got to be able to imagine that he's going to have an opportunity to go play at the next level. Well, you know, gave himself an opportunity, let the league take a look at him. And Solon's still at three. I thought I might have mentioned I thought he had four before, but Van Solon's still. Rice a look after going three for three from, from long distance in the first half. There well, there's go. number four. <laughs> That's a good call, coach. Freshman, he's seeing all this action. And then, frankly, Joe Scott is not afraid to play young guy. Shaver. Pops. Yes. See, the, the things he does changing direction. You know, you're, he's going to drive. Oh, no, I'm not now. Jumper. So that's a very quiet 10-0 run that just ended and pushed the lead up to 20. And that and had that huge game against Nevada. Line. Kaya. Austin again. Arbouche deflected that. Here's Dutree. Look at that. Glide to the hoop. Is it up to Dennis? Ray J. Dumps it low. Arbouche. That goes in. That's the shot they want him to make and take. Every of, of, of lineups out there to try to see what works, what feels comfortable. There's Dutree. Tough quarters getting that shot off. So. Walker of a junior. He was big as a freshman. This man Solon, who's had long distance. Dennis connects. Ray J. Dennis is a big part of this team's success. Oh, and Alston, the elevation sensation. Walker trying to make him pay. Walker waits a teammate. There's Van Solon. Oh, yeah. Van Solon, double figures now. He did tonight. Yeah, he's been he's been quiet. Guy we love to talk about. Oh, there you go. And as soon as you <laughs> see his name, there you go. It's a nice little short jumper, big, and so you just don't want your guys to let the foot off the pedal. So uh, you know they just have to know that there there still needs to be a sense of urgency. So Boise State gets to 5-0, and and they stay even with Utah State on top of the Mountain West Conference. Nine straight wins for Leon Rice, and there are your standings. Deal from Extra Mile Arena in Boise. The Broncos with a 78-59 victory over Air Force. For Viking Jones, I am Bob Akami, and thanks for being with us. You've been watching Mountain West Conference Hoops on FS1. Good night from Idaho.